Hi everyone, welcome back to Byte Geek. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the issue if your Windows 10 is not showing any Wi-Fi networks. Let's get started with the first method, which is the ping test. First, go to the Windows search bar and type CMD. You'll see command prompt appear as the top result. Go ahead and click on it. Now that we're inside the command prompt window, type ping space 127.0.01. Now press enter. This command sends a ping to the local host, which essentially helps check if your network adapter is responding correctly. If you receive a series of replies similar to what you see here, then your network hardware is working fine and there's no hardware related issue. You can now close the command prompt window and move on to the next step. Click on the window search bar and type control panel. From the search results, click on the control panel to open it. Inside the control panel, change the view by to large, then look for internet options and click on it. This will open the internet properties window. Now, navigate to the advanced tab. Here, click on restore advanced settings to reset the default configuration. After that, click the reset button below. A prompt will appear, check the box for delete personal settings, and then click reset again. Once the reset is complete, close the window. Now in many cases, this alone might not fix the issue. So let's continue with the next method. Go back to the Windows search bar and type run, then select the run app. In the run box, type services.msc and press OK. This will open the services window. Scroll down and look for WLAN auto config. Once you find it, double click on it and it will open properties window. In the properties window, make sure the startup type is set to automatic. If it's not running, click on start, then click apply and OK to confirm the changes. Once you've applied the changes, close the services window and check if your Wi-Fi networks are now visible or not. If the issue still persists, don't worry, we've got more solutions to try. Let's move on to the next method. Click the Windows Start button and open the Settings app. From there, go to Network and Internet. Look for the Change Adapter options and click on it. Here, check if the Wi-Fi adapter is disabled. If it is, right-click and select Enable. If the adapter is already enabled, try disabling it first and then enabling it again. This can help refresh the connection. Once you've done that, close the window and restart your device to apply the changes. If you're still experiencing the same issue, don't worry. Let's try another method. Right click on Windows, Start button and select Device Manager from the menu. Once you're in Device Manager, locate Network Adapters and double click to expand the list of available drivers. If you don't see your wireless network adapter listed, click on the Action menu at the top and select Scan for hardware changes. This will prompt Windows to detect and install any missing drivers. After scanning, check again to see if your network adapter appears in the list. As you can see here, my wireless adapter is now showing. Right click on it and select properties to continue. Now, go to the power management tab and make sure to uncheck the box that says, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Click OK to apply the change. Next, right click on the same driver again and select update driver. Since updating automatically may not work without an internet connection, choose browse my computer for drivers. Then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Here, we're going to downgrade the driver to a previous version. Select the earlier version and click next to begin the installation. Wait a few moments for the driver to install. Once it's done, close the window. I recommend restarting your device to apply the changes. After that, try connecting to your wireless network again. If you're still experiencing Wi-Fi not showing, let's move on to the next method. Click on Windows Start button and select Settings. From there, go to Network and Internet and scroll down to find the Network Reset option. Click on it, then choose to reset the network settings. When prompted with a confirmation asking if you're sure you want to reset your network settings, click Yes to proceed. Once the reset is complete, make sure to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. If the problem still persists after restarting, open the Windows search bar, type CMD and run command prompt as administrator. In the command prompt window, enter the following commands one by one. 
type net sh winsock reset and press enter and then type net sh int ip reset reset log dot txt and press enter these commands will reset the windows socket and ip settings once you've completed both steps, restart your computer again and check if the Wi-Fi networks are now visible. After restarting your computer, if you're still facing the same issue, let's move on to the final method. Go to the Windows search bar, type run and press enter to open the run dialog box. Now type msconfig and press enter. This will open the system configuration window. Next, navigate to the services tab. Here, click on Enable or to activate all the background services that might be required for network functionality. If Enable is not active, first click on Disable All, then click on Enable All option. After that, click Apply, then OK. You'll be prompted to restart your device. Go ahead and do that to apply the changes. And that's it. Hopefully, one of these methods helped you fix the issue of Wi-Fi networks not showing in Windows 10. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to Byte Geek, and drop a comment below if you have any questions or need further help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.